Hi, in today's video I'm gonna give you a short review and a couple of close-ups of this Samodra Button Beaded Pro. Hi again, so today I'm gonna talk to you about Samodra Button Bidet Pro. Uh, I just got this uh, one a couple of weeks ago. Today I'm gonna assemble it and show you how to use it and I'll give you my thoughts on it. So this is my third bidet that I'm gonna be reviewing. Uh, of course this type of attachment is very good for those who don't want to spend hundreds of dollars on expensive bidet. This one is about $59 and you don't have to use any electric connections. Uh, you just have uh, cold water and it looks very simple and in the package you get BD attachment, you get hose, T connection, uh, washer and some plastic attachments and of course manual. So let's go and install it and see how it works. Before I install it I just want to give you a couple of close-ups. So on the bottom of this attachment I believe this is where the water is coming from this uh, compartment right here you attach the hose supplying water and right here you just have buttons and off and right here you're going to adjust the pressure and of course the nozzles once the pressure is going to push you're going to have water coming out of those nozzles and they are I think spring loaded so you have one from the front one for the back and just in case you need to clean it you can open this port and clean inside so the first step is to shut the water off and we need to disconnect the hose supplying the water to the water tank Next, we need to install this T connector between here and the water tank. In the next step, I'm attaching the hose into the bottom of the video attachment. Make sure that you don't over tighten that so we don't break anything. Now, the end of it is going to be connected to the T connector. Water supplying hose is pretty long, so you should not have any problems installing it on any toilet. Now I'm going to go and put those circular plates right into those spots. And now all you need to do is make sure that your attachments are right in the middle. When positioning that bidet attachment, make sure that it's not too far this way and it's centered this way. So you can just turn those plates to position your attachments right where you want it. Now I have elongated uh, seat, so I'm going to put the seat connectors right through those holes. Now while you're going to be sitting on the toilet, this is the attachment on the right hand side. Now this is button for the back, this is for the women, and this is self-cleaning option and then off button and pressure minimum maximum. So now once you are going to hit the uh, back button, you're gonna start seeing first jet shooting right here for women. It's another one, a little bit different angle. Once you click off, it will stop. When you hit self cleaning option, now you're going to have water cleaning those nozzles. Nozzles do not extend in this mode. The water just runs on top of it to clean any possible debris. From time to time, of course, it's a good uh, hygienic way to clean those. You can always extend them. And you can put, of course, uh, gloves and then you clean them from time to time whenever there is uh, time to clean it. And of course, I cannot really demonstrate how to use it while I'm sitting on it. But the only thing I can show you is that in a self-cleaning mode, you have plenty of pressure. 
So there, of course, depending on your pressure in your house, I'm basically, when I'm using the bidet, I'm going to maybe five clicks. And this is just the beginning. I can go, this is the max. So there's plenty of pressure for everybody. What I really like about this bidet is that you have buttons. In my previous bidet, I had to have a knob turning every single time on and off. And the pressure had to be adjusted also every single time. With this bidet, I can just set my desired pressure, which is probably about here. This is plenty of pressure. And now all I have to do is just push appropriate button. So it's very convenient and I really like that design. It's minimalistic, doesn't take a lot of space. You don't need any electricity. And your tushy is gonna be clean and hygienic. It's much better than using a toilet paper. Uh, I also had a couple of people asking me, what do you do after you clean it? Well, I usually clean it for about a minute or two. And then I just use the regular towel that I have designated for this purpose. So I do not use any toilet paper anymore. If you have any questions, send me an email. I'll be more than happy to answer you. I really like this uh, BD attachment. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Goodbye.